Alrighty, so we've gotten ourselves a ribbon. A ribbon for the Daiku. Okay, someone in the comments has said, oh, I'm waiting for that ribbon in the Daiku. Well, here we are. Okay. This is called the Daiku Crony Saturdex, and it has a fucking atrocious role by any other standards. But for the Daiku, this is actually the perfect role. The perfect role for me, the perfect role for you, the perfect role for everyone, okay? Why is that? It's because we have 78.3%, 78.3% fire rate, which means that the Daiku's one second charge time is no longer fucking atrocious, okay? 78.3% extra fire rate means that we draw our bow back this quickly. That's quick enough for me, okay? I don't think it's as fa Actually, it might be faster than the Paris Prime. I don't know. But that's okay, okay? Because with this ribbon, we are able to actually use this bow. And with the extra multi-shot from this ribbon, it means that I can actually replace Split Chamber with this ribbon. Oh yes, I have replaced Split Chamber with this ribbon. Does that annoy you? It should because Split Chamber is a really, really good mod. It is a staple mod. It should be in every build, but no, no. I don't have space to put Split Chamber at this point because I need to use Amalgam Target Acquired. So we're not doing that. The Daikyu is a very, very strange weapon in it. Without the buffs that it got, it was actually strange to the point where it was basically unusable. But now it's strange to a point where it actually has to be built a lot differently to basically every other weapon in the game. Okay? Does that make sense? Awesome. So, that's why we're using Prime Fast Hands. The only reason why I'm using Prime Fast Hands actually is just to mitigate the 44% reload speed nerf from this ribbon. That's it. Okay? Awesome. Otherwise, we're using Hammer Shot because that 101.8% status chance can't bring us up from 48% base to 100%. And we're using Fang Fusillade because see previous video. Okay? So, how well does this Riven fare, or rather, how well does the DiQ fare against Corrupted Heavy Gunners? Let's have a look. All I gotta do is make them stand still. We are killing them with Slash Procs, ladies and gentlemen. That is the aim of the game. Kill them with Slash Procs, kill them with Headshots. That's basically the gist. Done. Easy. Awesome. Okay? Uh, this might be as fast, if not slightly faster, than a Paris Prime without Hunter Munitions, but not as fast as a Paris Prime with Hunter Munitions, unfortunately. But that's okay, because we're not using Hunter Munitions. Okay? Instead, we are able to do what Hunter Munitions does without it, which is really, really good. Okay? Now the alternative, the alternative is to go for viral damage because I love viral damage. Okay, anyone who has paid any attention to this channel will know how much I love viral damage. I use viral damage in just about every bow in the game, whether it's Lens, uh, Sonos Prime, Paris Prime, doesn't matter. Hunter Munitions, doesn't matter. I will always use viral damage. Not necessarily for a status proc, but just because it does so much extra damage versus Grenier in general. Um, actually, Grenier in general, that's it. I was about to say something specifically. But it just does extra damage against everything, so that's really, really good. Oh, now we get to use the lifesteal. The lifesteal from Amalgam Target Acquired doesn't seem to do a whole lot, in my opinion. It's plus 3% just by itself. Mm, but I don't think that's all that good. Which is why on my on my Nakana Prime, I have decided to use Healing Return. The thing behind me is Voltaic Strike for anyone wondering. That's it. So this is a very, very basic bitch build. Works for me. Okay? It works for me. <sighs> so... 
Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. Otherwise, if you liked this video, hit that like button, subscribe for more Warframe content, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.